Welcome back, family. And we have a new challenger to the stage. My boy, Mr. Sippin' Don Perry. Uh -huh. I've been running my city. <coughs> 42 Duggery. <laughs> 42 Duggery has entered the stage, people. Yeah. So he ain't like what happened with Perkyo. So what he said was, I hate when you know, do stuff to good people, rat involving white boys in street, be lames and could have pulled up on so many other, they'll pull up on nothing to do with nothing. Y'all can never expect a non-street person to understand the streets. These blow down on kids trying to ruin kids' life, knowing he ran. So that's how he felt. He felt like they was wrong for rolling up on Perky on sipping. Don Perry, uh, I've been running my city. So then, of course, 6 ix 9 wasn't going to like this. So 6 ix 9 came out and said, well, I will smack fire. <laughs> I, will smack, <laughs> I will smack fire out of you. <laughs> you see, hey, 6 ix 9 ain't waste no time. Boy, I will smack fire. He said, well, boy, I will smack fire out of you, boy. The fire will be smacked out of you. Do you hear me? Fire. Right? So now look. Then, you know, 42 Doug, like, oh, no, you're going to smack fire out of me? Sip it. Don Perry. Uh, we could do that <laughs> with my consent, right? With my consent. So 42 Doug, he was down. He like, no, nah, with my consent, we could do that. Then you responded again. He like, hey, look, 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 look. We, we, we can do that. Whatever you want to do, we can fight. I think he was like, we could do it for 500000 whatever, whatever, right? So then after that, 42 Doug said, no, nah, I'm playing, man. I ain't got nothing against the FBI or nobody that helped them and condone it. <laughs> so look, this is what I'm trying to tell y'all. If Even 42 Doug turned around and realized that, hold up. I wouldn't just be fighting him. I'm going to be fighting a federal agent. I'm going to be fighting... A federal, yes, I keep telling y'all that man is a federal informant. Now, look what he doing now. Now, he's targeting all, where you at? Pull up. I'm going to be here. Come to me. Do this. Do that. Yeah, and I'm telling you, as soon as you pull up, you're going to get water boy tackle, ATF, FBI, CIA. You, you going to jail. Sipping. Don Perry. Uh, we can't have 42 Doug in jail. What well, he got to be out here running the city? How he gonna run the city if he's sitting behind bars? Uh, uh, ain't no more of that. You feel me? So he realized it real quick. He noticed it real quick. Like, nah, I'm sorry. I don't want to have nothing to do with this. Nothing like he mad. He even spoke on him because he knows, like, bro, you get a tour with 6ix9ine, it put them boys right on your radar. Especially if you a street cat. It put them right on your radar. So if they don't get you for some street stuff, they about to audit your taxes. Yeah, they about to audit your baby mama taxes. They want to know <laughs> They want to know if you was paying taxes in kindergarten. Yeah, all that. All that. Just for messing with So you got to understand something. When you dealing with him, you know they're going to keep watching him. They're watching him and they're going to watch who he beef with. Y'all know this for a fact. But when he took down Treyway, just think about it. It wasn't just Treyway in them documents. It was everybody that he had beef with. It was every rapper that he had beef with. Everybody that he had an altercation with. Now, check this out. 6 9 Treyway and all them, right? Got locked up way, way before Casting Over did, right? So, he got locked up way before Casting Over did. But if you look at Casting Over paperwork right now to the charges, when they trying to Link him to the gangster stone bloods and all that. Even now, the whole Barclays shooting thing is in there. They didn't let it go because they squashed it. No, they didn't overlook that way. No, they put that down as a gang thing that happened. And man, that is all over that man paperwork. So understand something. When you're dealing with 6 9 boy, you're dealing with the federal rallies, boy. I don't want to be nowhere near that man. Keep that man away from me. I don't want him in my business. No, 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 no. I don't want to run up or none of that. But, like I said about the Perkyo situation, though, if there was me out there with Perkyo, it would have been Skittles Airway. Yeah, it would have been more out. I'd have been knocking rainbows and lucky charms all out that man's head. I wouldn't, been, I wouldn't have been playing like that. Only because 
I'd call it self-defense because y'all invaded my space. Y'all trying to make a move on me. So in that situation, that's just what I would have did. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, uh, 42 Doug, he doing the right thing, man. Backing out of this publicly and showing people that he don't want to have nothing to do with it. Because like I said, he got to be out here running the city, man. Don Perry. He got to do that. You know what I'm saying? But um, y'all get in the uh, comment section, man. Let me know what y'all think about uh, 6ix9ine and 42 Doug going back and forth, man. It's your boy Boot. I'm out.